Well, the windows might be rattling as the skies over Volkfield roar with the sound of thunder. But instead of storms, it's just the northern lightning exercise sending jets flying around the region. News 19's Joe Minnie went to the flight line to check it out. Northern lightning is a two week exercise for branches of the Department of Defense to come together and train in simulated multi aircraft operations. Folk Field is the perfect location for this exercise, and Base Commander Colonel Leslie Zizda Martin has the perfect analogy for it. My analogy is a football field. So Volk Field brings a football field and we bring all the different players here and give them the opportunity to train. Being in the upper Midwest with wide open airspace, Volk Field's versatility is ideal for pilot training. It's up here, there's, it's not so busy. Um, we can give them more area to work with and more area to play. Uh, we also have Fort McCoy, which we use, and we've been using their uh, drop zone for this exercise. And we have hardwood range that we also use here. So it's a lot of different capabilities here just from Volkfield. Personnel assigned to Volkfield prepare all year long for exercises like Northern Lightning, and they enjoy flexing their airfield management, logistics, and maintenance support muscles. Think of back to the football field. We're the ones that make the white lines on the field and keep the grass uh, cleaned and make sure the lights are on. So all the support structure that's needed for all this, the fuel for the airplanes, making sure we can move planes and making sure uh, they know what the weather looks like so they can go support that. After two weeks of thunder and lightning, the skies go quiet, but rest assured, Volk Field is preparing for another storm. Some of the players coming to this training camp, Northern Lightning 2021, boasting multiple units participating from all over the U.S. and overseas. The Marines and Navy bringing both F-18s and F-35s. The Air Force is flying active duty, reserve, and Air National Guard F-16s.